The rhythmic thrumming. A rhythmic thrumming. Pump, punch. Oh my god. I'm tired. Alright. Here we go, guys. Get, get all chilled up. Take a bit of my beverage. No need to be nervous. A rhythmic thrumming punctuates the air, passing through you, vibrating your lungs in your chest, making it hard to breathe. It's an electricity that makes the hair on your skin stand up in protest. Ahead, you hear the sounds of chanting, accented by the moist wriggling of larvae. There are low numbers, rumbles too, stone on stone. A sense of imminence is everywhere. Something is coming, and it has to be stopped. We're down a man. That's going to be a little bit rough, but hopefully we'll be good enough to take some of this shit. All right. Oh, sweet. We're in, like, not even fighting mode yet. That makes this so much nicer. All right, let's go through there. Hey, ladies. Jessica appears to be in the throes of a violent trance or mild seizure, a manic state brought on by the terrible energy she's attempting to conduct. Mac Midnight, stop. The queen approaches. The vessel. The summoning. We can't. We cannot be deserved. Beg to differ on that. I already took your precious vessel. Jessica's eyes roll back in her head. Whatever magic she is channeling is fast approaching a crescendo. Lynn speaks in her place. You may have taken Mary Louise, our chosen, but another Telestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. we will be the host to our queen, mother of the new world. Alright, you're the mother of a dead world. Harley Quinn still sports a rice smile. Where the fuck did you come from, buddy? On the plus side, a billion creepy crawly children makes this one hell of a Mother's Day. No, I will become a perfect being. Through me, my sacrifice, a new age will begin. When Jessica speaks next, her eyes have a disturbing sharpness. Her words are echoed by Lynn in a manner that suggests a connection beyond their shared zealotry. The hive has no thought beyond hunger, no goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Then you'll die as one. Now... Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? Yeah! What? You said it yourself. Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. Vile appetites. Appetites he couldn't control, and he died for them. Because I willed it, yes, but why? There was more to you than just your mother. A hum of magical enemy permeates the room, seems to quiet. She's listening. You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. Brotherhood, there. They were a family to me. Yes. And they had you, had, had you already freed your old life, so why come back? Why kill Sam? She falters. I had to, for what he did, for what he had become. You and Sam represented a sickness in the world, and I think he re represented the sickness in you. You're trying to confuse me. Yeah, I am. You saw a wrongness in yourself and projected it onto Sam. No, I, he. He was your brother, Jessica, your twin, don't you see? Jessica falls quiet and bows her head. I'm sorry. There's no turning back. I can't undo what has been done. I can't stop what's to come. His body suddenly spasms, arching her back, nearly lifting her off her feet. She lets loose a scream, falling somewhere between elation and agony. The queen is near. Guess what? Oh shit. No neutral turn. She is not neutral. She's fucking evil as shit. Uh, Alright. Um, let's do this. What? 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 I have to... There. Okay, we can shoot the one that's open. Okay. Then move up here. Come on, buddy. What the fuck? Why is it suddenly immune? What's going on here? Who the hell am I supposed to be killing? I guess we're gonna kill Jessica Watts. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna shoot her in her stupid face. And then, after I kill her, we're gonna deal with the rest of these guys. Why is she only a 66% to hit when I'm right next to her? I'm really getting annoyed. Alright. This game is just trying to make drag this all out. Alright, here we go. 43% to hit. What the hell is going on? Like, really though? And why um, what? I'm fine, we'll fight these things for a minute. 
Come here. Mm, nice, more of them. All right. got this. Just reload your dumb gun and then wait for it to spawn in its stupid spirit and then we'll kill it. There she is. Let's go get her. Oh, I'm sick of her shit. Oh my god. This fight is gonna drag on for fucking ever. Alright. There, I did my part. All you gotta do, Commando, is yours. Come on. There, one less dumbass bug. Alright. I'm just gonna follow Lin around and fucking kill her. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I can't hit her because the game is cheating for her, but whatever. Did 15 damage to the thingy. Uh-oh. You stay over there, buddy. Alright, here we go. Take that shit woman. Shoot you up a little more. There. Take two steps toward her. Why? Oh, she has favor of the queen, whatever that means. Alright, well, 100. Can we aim? Yeah, there we go. Let's do shitty little gunshot better instead of big ones. And that's fine. You can heal yourself 20. That's not a big deal. That's a little bit shitty, but that's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Bombardier, stay away. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. about a headshot? That's what I want to do. That's fine. More bugs come in. Holy crap, that's a big one. Um, Can we just shoot her? She's good. She's eventually going to die, right? Managed to sort of corner her here, and it seems to be really effective. I'm not going to burst, I'm just going to shoot one at a time. You ruined everything! What am I... Get back here! Damn it. Alright, um... The other thing, are those vulnerable now? Alright, well... Why did she get to run away? That's what... If she survives this, I'm going to flip shit. I really don't want her to. Alright, that guy's down. So prepare. Move to face. Yeah, just shoot that guy for a second. Okay, spirit. Ugh. Okay, that guy's a little scary. We'll deal with him in a minute. We're gonna shut down this one first. We can do this. We can do this. Alright, come on. 
Switch two. The Goo Blaster. Oh, shit. Now we gotta count on Captain Idiot Fuck. Come on. Alright, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, one, one more. One more. Thank you. Yes! Yes, I was wrong. I'm sorry I called you Captain Idiot. Alright. I'm getting a little bit beat down here. If I have next turn, I should do some healing. Um, true form soldier. Let's just pump him full of lead. Pump him full of miss. She really hasn't done that much. I think she has a debuff on her that hurts her accuracy. No, she's just wounded. I mean, that doesn't help, but shouldn't be screwing her up this much. That, maybe it's her reduced body that this thing keeps giving her. I should really, I don't know, calm down. Let's see. I could slice him up with my katana. No, let's do this. Let's auto fire. Can't miss what's right next to you. gonna heal or we're not gonna heal because she doesn't have any healing kits then we're just gonna shoot this thing really hard as best as we can oh my god really still alive um all right i'm gonna need you to not miss coyote come on sorry At least this thing can't hit us either. Alright, um, I'm not gonna waste my auto fire. I'm actually not gonna waste anything if I can help it. Let's see. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Perfect. And then you can get all that shots right up in your face. And there. I don't want to kill you. I just want to get you really close to death. So that next turn, I can fuck you up. Use a coyote if you can. Nice. And turn, buddy. That guy's alive. Hmm. It's weird because all of these bugs, like, even though they're different types when they're in our world, they seem to, like, when they come as back as spirits, they seem to all be the same, like, spitter type. At least that means that they all have the same health when they come back, too. Nice shooting, Tex. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, um... Let's reload, and then let's shoot that other guy and see if we can finish this dude off. And then we can do him next turn. Nice. Coyote, you don't have anything to do for this whole turn, so let's just shoot that and see what I can do to it. It's immune to gunshots. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? I'll just ignore it. Whatever. It's targetable, but I don't think I'm... Maybe I'm just supposed to hurt those when she hides in them. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not exactly doing this the most incredibly graceful way, but we'll do our best. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. I hit it twice. All you gotta do is hit it once, buddy. Set you up for a grand slam. Let's do this. There we go. Alright, so then reload this beast, and then let's see. Are there any more? Here we go. Excited. The once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale, her lips are ashen, and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It's more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained or the strain of channeling magical power from another plane of existence. There's something missing from her now. It's gone, my link to the queen. She has abandoned me, expelled me. Unworthy, unworthy. 
Whatever pain you're feeling is far less than you deserve. She hugs herself and begins shaking uncontrollably. Little cries of anguish and despair escaping her chest. I know. I know I will go to hell to this. If I still have a soul at all, I betrayed humanity. Her tear-streaked face freezes with sudden realization. Oh God, the other nests, they're in every major city. What have we done? And Sam, I'm so sorry, Sam. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Don't let them eat you. Um. <sighs> what do I want to do? I'm a pretty bitter man. I'm a pretty pissed off person. And I hate it. Absolutely hate it when the villain is redeemed at the last minute and fucking survives. I'm going to shoot Jessica Wast in the goddamn face. I'm sorry, viewers. It had to be done. She deserved that shit. She was a horrible bitch of a human being, even when she wasn't completely possessed by bugs. <sighs> All right. You momentarily have uh, emerged, or you emerge from the Universal Brotherhood chapter house, momentarily blinded from the bright lights of the Lone Star perimeter surrounding the exit. Despite the clean night air, the stench of ick, ichor and decay clings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun, and it's quickly speared away by one of Telestrian's min minions. Weapons are slowly lowered as you step out onto the street. The order coming from De De Detective McCluskey himself. You see James Telestrian just nearby, pulling his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts had been dealt with, and Sam had, has, had his justice. The dead man's deed is done. Now all you need to do is make a phone call, and it ends. And after we broke up the ritual, Mike Midnight chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance. They were about to eat her. And? And he killed her before they could do it. Some sort of street justice, I suppose. I don't know. I haven't been following the story closely. So Nest has been cleaned out, and the shaman is dead, and your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. James assesses you with a new fond respect. Very clean. I believe our test of Project Aegis was a success, Mac. Herr Breckhaus is having it weaponized now for the distribution to the Knight Errant forces. The authorities are going to have a great many questions about this incident, and you will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses, and they must be dealt with immediately. What will happen next? That's for others to determine. People older than you, other than you. Still, you've turned a human's effort in, and regardless of your obvious flaws, you are deserving of a reward. What did you ask of me? I want to get paid. Real money. I would expect no less from you. Mr. Quoth, please place a suitable bonus in my friend's cred stick. A bonus is of such size that additional negotiations are unnecessary. I have no interest in furthering our relationship. Yes, sir. 100,000. So you two are best buddies now. Yep. Hey, Coyote. How you doing? Guess that's it, huh? You geek Sam's killer. He got his justice from beyond the grave. Guess so. Tough week, huh? Gangers, hellhounds, muck mental patients, serial killers, ghouls, corporate deckers, extra-dimensional bugs, and an army of corpse security. Yeah, I could use a nap. I bet. Cody grins. First time. I'm gonna grab Paco and head back to the Union. Maybe watch a trade or something. I could use a long shower, too. After that. Back to destroying the BTL trade? Yep. Sure as I'm standing here. I'm gonna take a flamethrower to that whole slagging business. One squad at a time if I have to. Be careful. That last place was run by the Yakuza, and they're not gonna forget you. Her jaw sets. Her eyes harden. She's Coyote again. Then let them come. If the Yakuza wants me, they're gonna have to find me. Nothing I can do about that. Some people chose to live in fear, but not me. Not today. Today, I run the shadows. I get paid. Get dirty. See you around, Mac. You're quite a guy. I can honestly say I've never met an orc quite like you. Hey, it's Jake. Hey, Jake. Jake shakes his head smirking as you approach. When you finally see get close, he breaks out laughing. Heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up, shot up on the police scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? Oh, I got her. Figured you would. He scratches his mop of red hair. Guess that concludes the story of Mac Midnight and the Dead Man Switch, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only just skimmed the surface. 
I heard Mr. Suhamas looking for a, mid a team. They specifically want orcs. No idea what it's about. Just got word that something's going on in Crater Lake. The tears got it on total lockdown. A total no-fly zone. Whole thing. Could be some. Uh, could be something in it for us if we poke around. There's always the orc underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? I have plenty of friends who there who have a good job. Something's bound to come up. What do you think, say? I'm in. Talk to you later. Good. You can hash it out over dinner. If you want to find me, I'll be at McCracken's later. Got a taste for good seafood. Take it easy, chummer. Ah, Dresden's here. Hey, Dresden, you're my oldest friend. Little coroner is surprised to see you, but he can't help but hide his delight. Hey, Mac, I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. Wherever there's mayhem, that's where you'll find me. I guess so. He pops his eyebrows, eager. You know, it's all over the trivid, right? Found the Emerald City Ripper dead at some asylum out in Snohomish, of all places. Turns out he'd been masquerading as the head of administrator... Administrator... Or... La 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 la. <laughs> he'd been masquerading as the head administrator or something. They found him dead of some sort of vigilante attack. He leans in and whispers conspiratorial. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? My might. Hard to say. I'm sure. Yes, indeed. Hard to say. Well, no one could say he didn't have it coming, am I right? He frowns at himself. That was a double negative. So, big question. What about the dead man's switch? Now the Ripper's dead, are you going to collect? Damn right I'm going to collect. Excellent. I'm sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need a secure line to call the number Sam gave me. I can't use my comlink. Right. So Lone Star's emergency response team sets up a secure phone line right here to coordinate their efforts. I can authorize you to use it. Thanks, Dresden. Don't mention it. Take care. Not dealing with that just yet. I got more people to talk to. Hey, Harley. You kind of died like a bitch back there. But I'm glad you're still alive. The painted elf is watching the scene unfolding around the Universal Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm going to get out of here. Is there a problem? He gestures at the crowd as he speaks. Look around. Note the members of the press being shuffled away by Universal Brotherhood spokespeople to get a private briefing. The Brotherhood is connected. A damage control team is probably on their way right now. Think they can control the press? One way or another, they will. If they can't be manipulated, coerced, or bribed, they'll probably disappear quietly. There's more, though. He nods to himself toward James Telestrian. Note the expression on the USCAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between the UES and the tier. They're not going to trust what he's telling them, and frankly, I have no idea what he's telling him. James plays his own game. Always has. You trust him? No. Just like I don't trust you. Don't take it personal, kid. You shouldn't trust me, either. I've been manipulating runners for you like years, and I'm manipulating you right now. You just don't know my game yet. Let's continue this dance. I have one more thing to show you. He points at someone in the crowd and smiles. The man sees him pointing and smiles back. That guy there? He's with Ares Macro Technology. Enormous megacorp. Ridiculously powerful. They've been sniff sniffing around Project Aegis for some time now. Clearly, they have an agenda, and that's just starting to unfold. He gives the Ares man the finger and the smile returns. He smiles and returns the gesture. Government, media, business. All working to make sure the truth stays hidden. Not from me. No, not from you. You're a runner. That's the idea. But it's not the giant mach machination it appears to be. In a way, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas, and petty jealousies. All building upon, feeding upon, and excreting into an unending web of dreck people wade through every day and call it life there was one dark lord controlling everything and we could give drive a magic sword through his heart to fleet free the world that would be grand such clarity such focus alas so what's the lesson of all this we did it all for nothing just the opposite schmuck the lesson is the game is rigged the cards are stacked the dice are loaded it's the same as it always was every cycle people in power exert power little people cower in their homes and think they're told what they're told to think buy whatever product will help them forget how horrible their lives are for another day and that's why we don't play their fragging game. We don't swallow their direct sandwich and politely ask for another. That's why we run the shadows. And that's where the real life is, kiddo. Reality's living in the places no one wants you to see. Okay, seriously, Harley, who are you? A friend. Till I need something from you, then I'm a bastard. Where's Brackhouse? He flew into Berlin, all sorts of things brewing there. He was very impressed with you, though. Could probably turn into work someday. 
but I'd forget about him if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon, kid. They're playing a different game entirely. See you around, Harley Quinn. And last but not least, McCluskey, everyone's favorite police officer. Alternating between trying to look important and trying to avoid actual work. What you looking at, Chub? Just some asshole. No, no, it's the end of the game. Throw a haymaker. He goes down with a thump. I didn't take your badge, McCluskey. It's the least I can do for the people around here to give you a punch or two. The phone calls a simple numeric keypad. You can use it to call Sam's law firm and cash in the dead man switch. Call the law firm, finish the job. You tap in the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the other end of the video phone is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background comes, sounds like it's coming from a bar. Sam, Sam's lawyer, yeah? He squints into the phone. The recognition slowly appears on its face. Hey, you, it's Mac Midnight, right? So you got Sam's killer, huh? Yeah, I got Sam's killer. That's great. Let me set Sam's video for you. He fumbles for a moment, and the camera jerks crazily. Then it goes static and is replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. Still looks like Drek. Same clothes, same background. Probably shot at the same time as the first video. Hey, buddy. Looking good. Looking good. He giggles. If you're calling this number, that means the job is done, right? He closes his eyes and shakes his head. Congratulations, amigo. I knew you'd do it. You were always the dependable one. More than me, anyway. He looks back at you, trying to speak soberly. I just want to say thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot. Not even knowing what you did, it still means a lot. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean? I know you made it right somehow. He pauses, tilts his head back, his breath hitches in his chest. You're the only one who ever gave, gave a... Whoever tried to help me ever. Except my sister. She tried, more than once. She tried and I never let her through. Never let her in. I regret that. A lot. Did I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. Twins, I guess. I mean, you still a twin after one of you dies? I don't know. Guess it doesn't matter. God, listen. Do me a favor, will you? If you ever talk to Jessica, tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what. For she's Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I need her to forgive me. Just tell her I love her. He straightens himself up and shakes it off. The grin is back. Well, anyway, you need to get paid. Which would be great, except for one thing. I got nothing. Never did. You know how it is, right? Sorry, but hey, thanks for giving a crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. Tell you what, if you feel sorry about it, look into my family background a bit. There's got to be people with money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo. See you in hell. He reaches forward and shuts off the camera. The vid screen goes static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence and you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So what did he say? He said thank you. He said thank you. No money. The Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is the cast in the lead as Dr. Ripper, a trivid thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Seattle Newsnet reports a shootout in a chapter house of the Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons and, but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Telestrin, or Shadowrunners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, the Chicago Containment Zone is established to fight an outbreak of an infectious virus. But an infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature farm of Project Aegis called Fabs 3 is eventually deployed to remove the bug threat from Chicago. The Watts family name has since been lost to the shadows. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the end of Shadowrun Returns. Well, it was a good game. <laughs>